Hi and welcome to another edition of Pomona TV News for July 29th. Now the weather, well it's going to be hot, so dress appropriately. Okay, in Ontario, the Redemir Lutheran Church Lifeguard Youth Car Show. Do you kids have a car you want to show off? Okay, on August 24th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., the church is going to have its youth car show located at 920 West 6th Street in Ontario. For more info, kids, to show you right off, give these good people a call at 909-986-2615. In Upland, the Upland Noon Kauaians, uh to give away backpacks and school supplies to Los Olvios, uh, Olvios uh, residents, excuse me, it's early in the morning, <laughs> residents at 1200 North Campus Avenue. The residents are also members of the Housing Authority Home uh, Work Reading Club. Now, that's going to take place August 4th, 2 to 2.30 uh, 2 to 2.30 p.m. It's like a half hour. So get over there and, and check it out. Upland. Hey, this is a good one. Tuggles is back. I didn't know they were gone. Because <laughs> not sure how much I know. Uh, the sandwich shop has reopened at 110 South Mountain Avenue and hosting a grand opening Saturday, August 15th at 9 a.m. The first hundred guests in line when open at 10 a.m will win a free sandwich for a year. Whoa! <laughs> you know that line's going to be big. Right on. An Upland Christian Academy car wash fundraiser for a... They're going to try to raise money. Oh, they're going to raise money. I'm not going to say try. Uh, they're going to uh, raise money to get a trip next summer to, uh, to go to Europe. This is on Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's going to take place at the Abundant Living Family Church parking lot at 10900 Civic Drive in Cucamonga. For more info on this event, give those good people a call at 909-758-8747. Fontana, Retro Favorites, Doc Rocket, <laughs> performing July 30th at the Miller Park Amphitheater at 17004 Arrow Boulevard from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. They're going to be playing the oldies, funk, soul, jazz, and rock from the past decades. So for more info on this, you can get a good people to call at 909-350-6541. And, uh, you know, when on my travels to Pomona, or anywhere else, uh, but especially Pomona, I still see people talking on their cell phones. So I was thinking, maybe at the uh, council... They should jack up them fines for people talking on the phone. Apparently the fine's not high enough for these individuals to keep yapping on their phones. And, uh, you know, that, and take that money and put it towards, like, uh, saving uh, police jobs. We can't afford to be getting any, getting rid of any uh, police officers here, the way things are going and stuff, and, and uh, help out the canine unit also. So if we jack up those fines, I'm pretty sure that those police officers are going to be busy <laughs> giving these people tickets. I guess they just don't care. I don't know what the fine is now, but apparently they say, I'll just pay it. You know, so we'll jack up those fines and hopefully, you know, we could save some jobs there in the police department and help the canine unit. You know, the puppies, the dogs. Okay, you know, through life, uh, you meet people, some become your friends, and some of you become your mentors. I have a friend named Tony that I've known for over 30 years. He goes to shoot you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Tony, I want to thank you for being there uh, as a father figure. When my father passed away, he kind of like stepped in and, uh, you know, I'd ask you questions about life and stuff. And uh, he kind of like with my dad. He went, what are you, stupid or something? <laughs> but even though we have our disagreements, Tony, I still have a lot of respect for you. I mean, like I said, you're a mentor of mine, so. Anyway, I want to say thank you for being there, and, uh, and in the future, I want to say thank you again. Okay, uh, that's about it for right now. Uh, if you have a mentor you want me to mention on the air, just let me know. Just email me at PomonaTV at AOL.com, and I'll, and I'll put that individual's name on the on TV and tell them how much you uh, meant a lot to, you know, to that individual. So anyway, like always, you take care, and you take care of those ones you love. Thank you.
Thank you very much.